Hey everyone, I'm Josh from Dr. Sun University and welcome to Training Tips, where today I want to talk to you about one of the advanced recipient actions called specify recipient. So when you create an envelope, you can choose the action each recipient takes. Advanced recipient types are used when recipients need to perform more complex actions. So let's take a look at the option called specify recipients. Let's start by setting up an envelope. In your e-signature account from the home page, let's create a new envelope. Next, we'll add a document. In this example, we're going to use a training attestation form between a manager and their employee. There may be times when you need to send an envelope but don't know the details of one of the recipients. If we use the specify recipient action, we can nominate one of our recipients to provide the name and contact information for subsequent recipients. Let's enter in the details of our manager and select the specify recipient action. Next, we need to click on add recipient. A new recipient will appear with a placeholder role the name of this placeholder will be employee. In our example, manager is the first recipient and they will be responsible for filling in the details of the employee. Let's finish preparing our envelope by adding the fields the employee should complete. Since our manager is assigned to specify recipient's action, they will not be assigned any fields to complete. When the manager reviews the envelope, they will be presented with a pop-up and they'll be required to enter in the name and email address of the employee. The manager can also add and edit a private message and view the documents. Once the manager completes the details, the envelope will be routed to the employee. Once the envelope is routed to the employee, they'll be able to open it up complete the details, and submit the completed envelope. And that's how you use the advanced recipient action called Specify Recipients. I hope you found this training tip useful, and for more information, please check out DocuSign University.